Hello, welcome to Duck It. Today we are going to be reviewing the creek boats. I was getting them ready for the September teal season coming up and just hosing them off. Thought it'd be a great time to go ahead and do a review video on these. If you haven't already, please click like, please click subscribe. It really does help the channel and it really only takes you a quick second for each of those things. These creek boats, I've had them for maybe seven or eight years now. They've definitely been used plenty and plenty of times. Both of these are mine. Uh, that's what we use for our party. These are the M80 models. They have, I think, maybe four different types on their website. I don't know if that's updated or not. These are the smallest and the cheapest ones. They're eight feet long. It says on here that they can hold 300 pounds. I myself weigh 200 pounds, and plus by the time we have all the gear and everything, I'm sure they've been to every bit of that limit. I have two seats for each of them, but just for this video, I wanted to show you one without and one with the seat. They were $450 at the time for each of them. And then the seat did not come with it, but this little base stand did. Maybe you can see it's got the grooves that are meant for this. I think they were $25. And then the seats from Academy were I don't know, $60 maybe. They have a gun rack. This is unloaded. They have a gun rack on the inside, which is great for when you are going to and from your hunt spot. But if you are, you know, getting ready to shoot at a duck from inside the kayak, uh, definitely can be a little hard to get to when you have something in your lap, when you have waders on and you're trying to hurry up and get a shot off. I will say that the seats are not 100% necessary if you're just using these kayaks to get from one spot to another and then you're going to be hunting like let's say on the bank or inside of a blind. You do not need it. Um, it is, you know, one more thing to bring. It is a little bit heavier if you do have to uh, pull or drag the kayak to the spot. But if you are going to hunt out of these, I'd say it's an absolute necessity. This bar while it is okay for you know 10 or 20 minutes definitely at some point it does dig into your upper back so for comfort's sake you definitely need these and then also for paddling and for shooting by being just you know a few inches higher off the base of the kayak it actually does make a big difference um, as far as you know clearance from the rails i added the cleat on the front and the back of each which has definitely been a uh, big help. I would definitely recommend doing that for if, again, you're trying to tie it off at any point. Uh, if you have a jet sled or anything that you want to tie a little rope to, so you have almost like a trailer for putting some decoys and other things, then that would be very useful. I added a little kind of kayak bungee here so that you could go ahead and if you had any brush and you get out there, you can cover up. And then I took some 550 cord and just use it as a kayak paddle leash. You can buy them, but I just had some of that laying around and it has worked great. I knew that as long as I had the paddle in my hand, I know that if the boat ever got away from me, it would never go anywhere. And then on this one, I did add these. That was a failed attempt at the uh, kayak dolly that I tried to use for these. It's the wrong shape, so I'll do a review video on that here later, but I'm going to take these off. And then I did spray paint each of these. It's been a few years, so I probably need to touch that up, but I'm not too worried about it. We drag these around pretty much at each impoundment that we go to. A lot of times there's roads, like gravel roads or dirt roads, and they've held up very well. I mean, each time I've had these out, I've pretty much used them both. Um, they're equally as worn, but they have some scratches, but I mean, no actual, like this is the biggest one, I think on either of them. And I mean, nowhere near going through the, the actual platform of it. These are the polymer type plastic. So, I mean, it is, you know, not the sturdiest of all kayaks, but that's also one of the benefits of these is that they are light. I mean, I'd say that, uh, that's, I don't know, might have it on the website, but 
I mean, I'd say at best maybe a quarter of an inch thick. Um, but I believe they only weigh, yeah, it doesn't say it on there. I believe it weighs 34 pounds for each of these, which is great because you can, can get it in the video here. All you need to do is grab it like that. And with one hand, you can have it off the ground and up on your shoulder and carry it to your spot if you need to. If it's empty, you can drag them. The other ones are bigger and bulkier, definitely heavier. You can add a trolling motor to them. But for our purposes, this is what we needed. The drain plug, I did spray paint and pink just because I had some pink laying around. And we lost one before on a hunt. It was open when we were letting the water drain. and Probably should have had it closed and couldn't find it because it was jet black. So bought the replacements for about $10 on, I believe, Amazon. Now they're pink, so now we can find them if it ever happens again. And when you're hunting with these, I mean, you're definitely under the water. No one will see that. Added the handle on the front, which is definitely important. Worth the, you know, $5 or so. All in all, I mean, definitely good investment. I cannot say I've hunted out of the other kayaks, but these are made for duck hunting. Lightweight, durable. Again, had these for maybe eight years and they've held up great. Um, no signs of ever needing to replace them anytime soon. They are a little wobbly, I'd say, because when you sit down in the water, you're not quite up to this little side skirt lip. So it will wobble until this hits the water, but then you're pretty stable. So getting in and out, I mean, can be a little tricky, but again, I'm sure that's the case on most kayaks. All in all, definitely very happy with them. I don't know the availability of these across the country because they are made here in North Carolina. And I believe it's a fairly little shop. But for me, it was, you know, right here in town, there's a dealer that had them. So it was a no brainer. If you guys have used these, let me know your thoughts in the comment. If you have a better kayak, let me know as well. Maybe get that one day and do a review in the future. Till then, like I said, if click like, click subscribe, that would be a huge help. Only takes you a quick second and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.